Hello everyone. I welcome you on board flight of Captain Vijay in the series of flights to study meteorology for DGCA CPL and ATPL examination. Today we will fly through the short, simple but yet very interesting topic of condensation trails also known as contrails. In this video we will learn about when, how and why contrails are formed in the atmosphere behind a commercial jet aeroplane and also get to know as to what is mintra level, drytra level, maxtra level and what are distrails. So fasten your seat belts as we are ready for takeoff. I am very sure that every one of us in our lifetime has seen a long white condensation trail behind commercial jet aeroplanes flying very high in the sky and many a times these trails are seen tens of kilometers behind the aeroplane and the trails continued to be seen for a fairly long duration of time. They are known as condensation trails or in short contrails. As the name suggests, it is formed due to condensation of water vapor exhausted from jet engine to liquid form due to saturation of air. Condensation is the process of conversion of water vapor to liquid form and saturation is a situation when air is holding maximum possible quantity of water vapor at a given temperature and pressure and any more water vapor added will get condensed to liquid form. So let us understand the science behind these contrails. In a jet engine, aviation turbine fuel which is a hydrocarbon is burned to produce the required thrust. Chemically, hydrocarbon is reacting with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide and water vapor. This water vapor and carbon dioxide as well as heat is exhausted in the atmosphere from the exhaust of the jet engine. The addition of water vapor to the atmosphere increases the relative humidity and addition of heat increases the temperature and reduces the relative humidity. So both act against and opposite to each other. So at lower height in the atmosphere that, that where the temperature is relatively higher, there are negligible chances of air getting saturated due to additional water vapor from engine exhaust. But at high altitude where the temperature is low and air is nearly saturated, this addition of water vapor leads to complete saturation of air and the extra amount of water vapor gets condensed to liquid form and they are seen as contrails. So the contrails are water vapor exhausted from jet engine getting condensed to liquid form. So first point is that the contrails are likely to form at high altitude where ambient temperature are low. At higher latitudes on the planet where the temperature falls at faster rate they can form at medium levels also. Mintra level. Theoretically, we can find a value of ambient temperature at which the contrails will form and this temperature is called minimum temperature or short form is Mintra and the height at which this temperature prevails in atmosphere is called Mintra level. So the contrails are likely to form only ever Mintra level. However, it is for sure that the contrails will not form below Mintra level. And generally, Mintra level is a height at which ambient temperature is minus 45 degrees centigrade. Next is Drytra level. Drytra level is a level which is approximately 2 km above Mintra level, above which the contrails will form irrespective of humidity level in the atmosphere. The water vapor from the exhaust itself is sufficient to saturate the air and condensation to take place. So, the contrails are bound to form above drytra level. And the last is maxtra level. As we know that there is a limit to which the temperature drops in the troposphere and that is minus 56 decimal 5 degree at 36090 feet. If you have read the definition of international standard atmosphere, you would have read this figure. So after that, the temperature is constant till 20 km in the tropopause and above tropopause in stratosphere, the temperature starts to increase with increase in height. So there will be a certain height above which the temperature will be higher than 
माइनस फोर्टी फाइव डिग्री और हायर देन वॉट इज एट मिंट्रा लेवल सो एब दिस हाइट अगेन द कॉन्ट्रेल्स विल श्योरली नॉट फॉर्म सो टू समराइज बिलो मिंट्रा लेवल एंड एब मैक्स्ट्रा लेवल्स द कॉन्ट्रेल्स विल नॉट फॉर्म एब मिंट्रा लेवल इट मे फॉर्म एंड एब ड्राइट्रा लेवल इट विल फॉर्म फॉर श्योर इन केस ऑफ जेट एयरक्राफ्ट द कॉन्ट्रेल्स ओवर इंडियन स्काई rarely form below 7 km the usual height band of formation of contrail is 11 to 14 km and the mintra levels are usually lower in winter than in summer and mintra levels are lower at higher latitudes and in extreme north and in extreme north india the mintra level in winter may occasionally be below 9 km now let us discuss what is distrails when a commercial jet aeroplane flies through a cloud below mintra level the heat from the exhaust may temporarily reduce the relative humidity of the ambient air to such an extent that the cloud droplets in the wake of the aircraft evaporates completely and if the cloud is thin a lane is created in the cloud right behind the aeroplane and it is visible to the ground observer and this is known as dissipation trail or distrail so distrails form below mintra level so hope this video has helped you in understanding the short and interesting topic of contrails mintra level drytra level maxtra level and distrails and with this we have arrived at our destination subscribe the channel for more such informative videos on aviation do not forget to comment below about how did you like the video or if you want me to cover a specific topic so hope to see you on board again for the next flight and till then happy landings